welcome back to This Week in Rock and Roll History. This week we're covering the legendary Brit group, the Shouty Kenneths. The band was founded in 1982 in Kent by Dennis Waterman on vocals, Sandy Peanuts on backing vocals and guitar, Tim Peter Smith playing bass, and Wavy Dave Colin Doggy Style Costello on the battery. Waterman and Peanuts had started a coffeehouse group as teenagers called Clever Clogs, but after a year attending art school, they connected with Peter Smith and Costello over the nascent new wave scene. Playing gigs at the Shirky Shandy in Chelsea won them the attention of A&R rep Dinky Crittenberg, who signed them and had Clem Fandango produce their first recordings. Those sessions produced their snarly debut EP, Cheap Aftershave and Bullshit, which sold out almost immediately, and they toured England with the Push Push Malcolms in late 1983. Their Christmas single, A Pile of Shit, Your Majesty, unexpectedly dented the lower rungs of the official charts, and the full-length Fuck You, I'm Ginger followed in early 1984. By now, the Kenneths had made their mark as pugnacious and outrageous targets for pearl-clutching mums, and they responded with more of the same on 1985's Moral Atrocity, which featured the singles Condom Kate and Shitbag City. Chastened by the album's lack of success, 1986's Forensically Dull was subtler in its anti-establishment, anti-Thatcherite satire, with Sherlock's Dog and Sad Old Bag still managing to win notice from the enemy. Jettison and Crittenberg hired Fancy Alexander to produce 1987's Nude Shakespeare Art Class, hailed by critics as a return to form. The arty first single, Agent Shit Farm, was a surprise hit. Expectations were high for 1989's Doing the Voyeurism, and the single Sergeant Shit Brain became the group's highest charting single, even winning some attention on left of the dial radio stations across the pond. They launched a major tour of Europe with Destitute Tramp and Leggy Egg in 1990, and issued the one-off 7-inch It's a Real Shit Sack to benefit Doctors Without Borders. Cracks were showing in the seams, though. Despite having a stable lineup for nearly a decade, all four members had been in and out of rehab multiple times, and the collective strain led to the departure of Peter Smith in 1991. Howard Tissue took over on the low end, and the Manchester-influenced obnoxious fuckwit arrived with a flurry of new media attention in 1992. Three singles, Feisty Tart, Man of Sex, and Blackmail is a Last Resort, But It's Still a Resort, all hit radio, marking a more commercial turn for the group, even as the title of the containing album was barred from mention on all but the pirate radio stations. Leaning into the Europop lacings heard on Fuckwit, 1994's Cheap Piece of Fluff was a winking, all-too-self-conscious attempt to capture the attention of dance clubs in the midst of the rave revolution, and the 10-minute remix of lead single Pierce Bronson by DJ Karen and Disco Ken struck the music rags as painfully self-indulgent. Still following the trends a bit closely, 1999's Pure Shithouse arrived too late to ride the crest of the American grunge wave, and the jagged, lacerating single Sling Your Hook and Fuck Off Home sank without trace in the wake of the post-Britpop hangover. 2002 saw Waterman and Peanuts mellow out with the live album For Fuck's Sake, recorded with bagpiper Frank Forfuck in a pret-a-manger at Heathrow Airport. In many ways, it recalled Waterman and Peanuts' coffeehouse roots, and in time became a touchstone for the next crop of neo-pagan folkies. Recording again as a quartet, and with post-punk revival hot on the airwaves, they returned in 2004 with Rigor Mortis Audition. The singles Sex Noises and Septum Crowbar introduced them to a new generation, and the Kenneths launched a worldwide tour with Daddy Ketchup supporting. Tune in next week, or visit our website at www.rocktarded.com.